Hi, my name is Dr. Kyle Hagel, and I'm with Affinity Medical Group in New Hope, Minnesota. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, auto accidents and chiropractic care and rehabilitative, re, excuse me, rehabilitative care. Uh, a lot of times when people are involved in a car accident, uh, if they have pain right away, they'll go either to the uh, emergency room or the urgent care later that day or the next day. Now, these types of facilities are very, very good at ruling out bad, uh, more serious injuries uh, like head injury or internal injury into the abdomen or very um, outright injuries like a broken bone, like a broken arm or a broken leg. Uh, once these injuries are ruled out, um, many patients are often given a clean bill of health when it has been determined that they don't have a more serious injury. The problem is one of the most commonly injured tissues or several of the most commonly injured tissues in a car accident are muscles in the neck, the back, the shoulders, um, even the undersides of the feet that help form the arch can get injured. Uh, the pelvis can get injured. Uh, depending on where your body position is, if you were holding on to the steering wheel, if you had your foot on the brake, if you were turned right, if you were turned left, um, if, you had, if the airbag went off, all of these different things can injure your body in different ways. And a lot of people get a clean bill of health from either the emergency room or urgent care and really, they've been given a clean bill of health only from the more serious things that are going to cause uh, excessive or, or severe pain right away, like a broken bone, or they're going to be life-threatening, like a bleed in the brain or in the abdomen. And one of the things that gets missed very, very commonly um, is ligament injury in the neck, um, injuries to the shoulders, injuries to the knees, and muscle injuries as well. Uh, also, disc injuries uh, are very, very common in car accidents. Now, muscles and ligaments and discs, all of these tissues can produce pain. And sometimes the pain comes on right away. But in certain circumstances, the pain might not come on for a week or two weeks uh, or sometimes even a couple of months. And the reason that is is because the body can compensate very well. And so when one tissue is injured, the muscles might go into spasm, let's say, on the other side of the body and help the person get through the day. And a lot of times, um, it can come on as tightness or achiness or even just general fatigue. And a lot of times patients play those symptoms off and, and attribute them to something else when really very often uh, they are related to that car accident. And in order to injure the ligaments and the muscles in, let's say, the neck, for example, the car accident doesn't have to be at an extremely high rate of speed. Significant injury can happen to the ligaments and the discs and the spine even at a speed as low as 5 miles an hour. Um, and then obviously um, at speeds of, you know, traffic, that traffic commonly goes at 50 miles an hour or 30 or 15, um, obviously injuries can happen at those speeds as well. So it's always a good idea uh, once you've ruled out the, the bad things like broken bones, um, like internal injuries, that you also get a, a chiropractic evaluation just to ensure that you don't have any other injuries that may cause you problems later.